Good morning, folks. My name is Eva Bailey Green. I am a family and consumer science teacher at Highland Springs High School. Today, my students and I are going to be participating in a burger competition where they're going to be creating hamburgers out of alternative forms of meat. All right, folks, let me get your attention up here. As I just stated to the gentleman, we're going to be participating in a burger competition today. But the catch to the burger competition is you're not going to be using ground beef. You're going to be using alternative forms of meat in order to create your hamburger with a small twist. So let's get started. All right, let's get a small introduction background on hamburgers. As we all know, hamburger is the all-American food from coast to coast and drive-ins fast food places and sit down restaurants. The burger is the standard menu item. From the standard all American hamburger, we all love hamburgers, correct? Does anybody in here not like hamburgers? Yes, no. You prefer not to eat hamburgers? Why? Okay. Okay, not something you wanna eat every day. All right, cool. All right, as we all know, hamburgers can cost anywhere between, ground beef itself can cost anywhere between four to five dollars a pound. So does anybody eat at places like Five Guys? Or has ate at places like Five Guys? Do you like it? Is it expensive? The average hamburger at Five Guys, the baby one costs you what? Seven dollars. That's a lot for a hamburger. So today we're going to try something with a different twist to it. So let's talk about the rules of the competition. All right, so for Burger Bash 2023, we're going to create hamburgers with a different spin or twist on it. Instead of using beef, your burger, must be made with ground pork, ground chicken, or ground turkey. You will plan a one-third pound serving and a recipe that you all need to create. Needs to include how you plan to season your meat, what type of bun I provided for you, and up to four toppings for your specific camper. Okay? You have been placed, the twist to the contest is this, you have been placed in various groups. Each group will choose a head chef. That person will pick a number. If you look in the back of the room, there are three buckets. That head chef has to pick one of those, and that will depend on what type of meat you'll be using in the challenge today. All right, so for your groups, you need to get together at a table. We got Andrea, Nalik, Mia, and Janaya. Can y'all get together at a table? I don't care which table you pick. Get together because you guys are going to have to figure out who's doing what. Your group two. We got Jayla, Corey, Demontre, Simone, and Yashua. Yashua's not here, so we're not going to worry about him. And group three, Linwood, Deja, and Lyric. So go ahead, take two minutes. Let's get in your groups and let's, then we'll go from there. You need to figure out who the head chef is gonna be. And then once you figure out who that person is, you figure out which bucket you wanna choose and let me know. So it's now 914, 916. We're gonna start. So y'all talk amongst yourselves, figure out how it's gonna work. Please tell me somebody cooks. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so you'll take it? All right. So what group did you guys pick? Who did y'all pick, right? All right, cool beans. Group one, go to the back, pick your container just to see which meat you'll be using today. So what did you end up with? Chicken. Chicken? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so leave your meat back there. Take your bowl with your condiments and your bun in it back to your group. And you guys figure out what kind of burger you're going to make after that. I'll talk to you in a little bit more detail how to do that in a second. Uh -huh, just take that one. All right, group two, let's get it. Uh -huh. All right, so take your condiment bowl back to your table. All right, my last group, whoever's the head chef. Let's see what y'all come up with. Tell what you're gonna come up with. Pork. Pork. All right, take your condiment bowl back to your table. All right, so your judging requirements, folks, look up here. You will be judged on three things, flavor and creativity. You also notice that we have plates up here. You have to figure out how you plan to plate that as if you were serving it to someone in a restaurant, okay? And your teamwork and time management skills, how you all work together as a group to get the job done. All right, so your next steps. We had our group meeting. You chose your baskets. If you look in Schoology, there is a lab planning sheet in there. One person out of the group pull up the lab planning sheet. I'm going to give you guys five to ten minutes to figure out based on the items that are in your bucket, how you plan to cook them and how you plan to use them. Does anybody have any questions? All right. So 925. Y'all need to talk to each other based on what you have in your bucket and the meat that you chose. How do you plan to fix it? So, what y'all think? I don't know, This avocado, baby. Right, it's avocado. Take the stuff out to see what's in there. Avocado, avocado. breadcrumbs. Yeah, bread. What, what, what do you, have to use? you have to use those things. Okay. All of them? All of them. All right. Yes. Nope. And you know, cook the onions. It's the religious reasons you don't eat pork. What religion are you? Like on the side. Okay, you don't have to eat it, you just gotta make it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, caramelized yes. onions. Yeah. Okay. All right. So based on the stuff that's in here, you have to use everything that's in here. Yes. Yes. That's what this time is supposed to be used for. That time, this time is supposed to be used for that. This time is supposed to be used for you to plan exactly based on the ingredients you have. You can look up recipes. You can find burger options, things that people put on hamburgers, all that type of stuff. All those types of stuff. Okay. 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 Okay, cool. Also, one piece of information I left out. Anything that is here in the kitchen, you are more than welcome to use in addition to the items that I provided for you. So if somebody wants to get up certain seasonings I might have in the cabinet, certain things I might have in the refrigerator, you are welcome to use those things also. What if it's good though? Mm. <laughs> That's what I am. Yeah. <laughs> I think I add something. Okay, I see an Asian turkey burger with sriracha mayo. If we yeah. put the sriracha mayo together, then you probably it. I don't know though. You see? Because like, that's the sriracha mayo. Yeah. So you can do that. And then the eggs go in the burger. That looks good. Mm -hmm. And it's also, if I'm not mistaken, if you look in the refrigerator, it might be some lettuce and some other things in there that you can use. Okay. I want to just do the juicy turkey burger. <laughs> well, talk to them. Ask them. They in the group, would you? 
Yes, you gotta take it with you. All right, come on, let's go. Since they got started already, you can go to the front table and do your bell ringer and whatever other work you're missing. All right, folks, so also, everybody, you get started with your meat. There are seasonings in the cabinet. Right there. There are seasonings in the cabinet. Figure out what do you think will go good with what type of meat you have and go from there. All right, and everybody in the group needs to be doing something. I want anybody standing around not doing nothing. All right, we'll get to it. Do you want to put the egg in there? Do you want some people? Have you seen hamburgers? I've seen hamburgers where people, um, uh huh. And I've seen hamburgers where people fry the egg and put it on top. That's okay. Uh huh. Should I pour it all in the top? Yeah. Yeah? Up in the cabinet. Oh, in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other one. The other, the seasoning cabinet, folks. And also, if somebody has something that they're using, you can borrow that as well. I mean, we got enough for everybody. And what y'all might want to do is get some, I'll give you a hint, those breadcrumbs, the group that got breadcrumbs, you might want to add a few of those to that. Mm -hmm. All right, hurry up, folks. Hurry up. And then walk around and look at some of the other groups. They might have some seasonings that you might want to use. All right, yeah, because they need that section to work. Yeah, you can give us a little tip slide. Okay, you ain't in that thing too. Some more honey or something? Yeah, yeah. What the thing that we put the honey on or just put the honey on? You can do it though. My hand, my gloves are. What you need, Carl? That's all I got, boo. All right, can y'all start cleaning up as you go to throw that away? Ooh, I just have uh, uh. Well, that's a little more squeeze in my eyes. I promise you do. Let's see. Yeah, a few more. How about, baby, run that under some cold water so you won't cry? Mm -hmm. Have thought about that? Yes. Run the onion under cold water, Nali. <laughs> All right, now the only thing with chicken is also, also, folks, I have one tip that I add for everybody. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce is an agent that will help tenderize your meat, so you might want to add some of this to your meat mixture before you start cooking. Did y'all hear what I just said? No. Huh? What I said was the tip that I, it might be some of this with a drink too. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce is a meat tenderizer. 
so you might want to add some to your chicken before you start to cook. If you want to get a little like more breadcrumbs, I guess. Um, or is it fine? It ain't a little watery. We're going to use the air fryer. Hmm? We're going to use the air fryer. The air fryer? Cool. We're going to get it right. Okay, that should be good. Making the bowls, okay. They look like naked, Where the salt and pepper is right there. Y'all did put pepper in there? Did y'all put salt in there? Okay. Turn that down about three or four, folks, so it doesn't stick or burn. And remember, it's all in that pan. It's on four. All right. You tired of it? <clears throat> you ready to put them in the pan? Yeah, so it needs to be four. Yeah. 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 And then you'll make two out of what's left. Get an oil okay. <laughs> you come over here and put your face in. I'm black. I'm not gonna oil. Yeah, stop. <laughs> no, that's one. Remember, like when you cook meat, it shrinks. See how she did that? <laughs> so. Put the sauce in the patty and make a flat with a spatula. These ones are like two. They're right. all different. Well, it don't matter. Right. If they're kind of thick, you can make them smaller. Let me see if they're going to Okay, just put it yeah. They should be about an average about that size. So if yours is bigger than that, nah, I put it on. you need to What's take it them on? off. Put it on That's a little too big. So take them off. Like in the middle of the torture. A little bit. Okay, chef, I'm leaving. Oh, she getting crazy. She said four. I said in the middle of two and three. So go ahead. My advice to you will only be to cook no more than two, three at a time. Because you won't have rumps to flip it. Here we go, see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's my girl already? Mm -hmm. That one? You might need a portion of that one. That's a lot. Yeah, much, the will suck it up you have cheese in there already. That one started popping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Mm. All right, so. Okay, then go ahead and shut the lid. Wait, so just the, put, just your, the put your right? patty in. Put uh -huh. your patty in. Shut the lid. It should be good. That's it. That's all you have to do for that. Because it's on already. All right, as you can see, Burger Bash 2.0 is underway. We, the final results will be here soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.